A small East Texas private school is in danger of shutting down. Kingdom Life Academy in North Tyler provides Christian education to students outside the confines of traditional schooling. KTK's Ashlyn Anderson joins us now to explain the financial issues they are facing. Ashlyn. Casey Isaac Kingdom Life Academy near Bolter Middle School is a nonprofit school that focuses on children who are unable to thrive in traditional schooling, giving them a second chance. Pray for, you, Lord. pray for us to pray for us that God will provide. For 11 years, the mission for Kingdom Life Academy has been to provide practical Christ-centered lessons to their students. We've seen young people come here depressed, full of anxiety, uh, with no hope. Matter of fact, I just mentioned a young lady, Boleyn, who's been made the dean's list twice. Now, founder Joel Inge says financial struggles could force them to close their doors. We're now short around close to $10,000 a month. Uh, we've lost in our monthly support. We're, need, we're averaging about $22,000, $23,000 a month is what we're needing. The small nonprofit is primarily funded through private donors and community donations. So our parents do pay a tuition, but we target low-income families, and so we have a sliding scale. Feeling the pinch, Kingdom Life has tried to raise tuition as much as they can, and to save on cost, they're reducing electrical use by turning lights off in rooms students aren't in. I think it's really attributed to um, you know what's going on within the country, the economy, inflation, and and where families are struggling, you know, people are struggling across the board. Inge says the push to make education savings accounts in Texas a reality could be a game changer for them. It would take the burden, the pressure off of, of us tremendously, where a lot of the funding could be able to use it to continue to let, let us help us to grow, um, and um, and to be a blessing to our kids. Grateful for every dollar given to their cause and praying their work can continue on and educate the leaders of tomorrow. And the Academy is working to raise $100,000 to fund the rest of this year, and they're currently accepting donations. We have that information for you on KTK.com. In studio, Ashlyn Anderson, 